In the last 20 years, PBAPP has been leading the way in promoting water conservation in Malaysia. On the surface, it seems odd for a company to encourage its customers to use less of its products. However, the following facts and figures explain the rationale for PBAPP's water conservation initiatives. Water is an indispensable element for daily life and socio-economic activities. Penang is a state with unlimited socio-economic potential but limited raw water resources. In the past 20 years, Penang's population has increased by 43.9% from 1.23 million people in 2000 to 1.77 million people in 2019. Penang's GDP has increased by 470% from RM17 billion in 2000 to RM97 billion in 2018. Penang's daily water consumption has increased by 48.2% from 569 MLD in 2000 to 843 MLD in 2019. Penang is too highly dependent on one major raw water resource, Sungai Muda. Sungai Muda may only meet Penang's raw water needs until 2025. Since 2011, Penang has proposed the Sungai Perak Raw Water Transfer Scheme or SPRWTS to tap a second major raw water resource until 2050. Until today, the federal government has not implemented the SPRWTS. PBAPP is in the process of drafting the Penang Water Supply Initiative 2050 to outline contingency water projects for the future. However, it is likely that the first phase of the PWSI 2050 projects will only be commissioned from December 2024. We have been involved in the Green School program and also Aquasafe run by Penang Green Council and also PBAPP since 2017. Every year, we will launch a water saving campaign where students will be told how to use water wisely. Our next project is rainwater harvesting. We started off with top rain and innovation from liquid detergent bottles to collect rainwater. 
and we move on to use two big barrels to collect rainwater and we use them to water all the plants in the school. Our recent project is using reusable water from our aquaponic and our fish pond in the school. Whenever we wash the ponds, we will use the water to water the plants. So we started off our rainwater harvesting project in February 2019. We collect rainwater from the rooftop of our building. We have gutters and rainwater downpipes to collect water throughout the entire process. We also have screener and trainer to feed off particles to rare fish at the same time. And for our rainwater harvesting tank, the water will be collected and distributed to our garden tap, which will water the plants automatically. This project helps to conserve water. It saves water and also reduces our water bill. When we compared our water usage from 2018 with 2019, our water usage was reduced by 30% to 40%. This achievement was contributed by our school pupils, alumni, parents and teachers. For Osram, assuming social and corporate responsibility means protecting the environment, ensuring occupational safety and health, and preserving the natural resources. Water conservation is one of the areas that we are focused on. In 2012, when we want to build a new Pan 32 buildings, we look into the design that allowed us to harvest the rainwater at the roof, which then flow below and store it in the underground water tank. This water is being used for gardening and toilet flushing. It saves us approximately 1,500 meter cube of water annually. Since 2013, we have been certified by AquaSafe and Green Building Index. Austrian management is very happy that we are part of the AquaSafe project. Thank you. Uh, water Watch Penang is an NGO. Uh, we were formed in 1997. Our collaboration with uh, PBA are in three areas, but all these three areas are link. Uh, the important thing is the focus will be water conservation. So the first thing we collaborate with them is to do public awareness and education pro program, uh, mostly on uh, how to conserve water, how to save water uh, in the house as well as in uh, public places. Our second focus is with the schools. Uh, we educate the school children on uh, water conservation at home and hopefully we ask them to bring this back to their parents so their parents and their family members can also practice water saving and conservation. The third aspect of water conservation is uh, big events like a World Water Day. We hold it, you know, uh, maybe about 500 to 1,000 people will attend and uh, water exhibition. Uh, most of the time, the exhibition is on water saving devices and on water conservation and saving. Actually, Penangites use the most water in the whole country. Average Malaysian using about 200, but we are nearly 300. So I think we need to come down at least to the average Malaysian level. So to, to transform Penang society into a water-saving society would be our ultimate aim and our dream.